Welcome everybody to One Piece Burning Blood again. Now this is the character that I don't particularly like. Well, you probably already know that because she's been used in quite a number of episodes. And yet people still request her, so here we go. This is the maximum amount of koala that I can possibly give to you. Somebody also asked about the most damaging supports in the game. Well, I think that if you don't want to have any debuffs, like this guy, for instance, this is your best bet. The supports that I'm having now are the most damaging ones. Even though they have their drawbacks and they can only be used on characters that are not very powerful. I really like dodging like that, even though it's kind of a useless. And overall the move that is used to dodge attacks like that is not really used for anything other than dodging or crossing up, because, you know, it's too slow to be something of a surprise. And uh, inside of the combo, it does too little damage, so it can be used as a finisher. And if you hit it on block, it's still not plus, so no use for it but to dodge. Now here is the big drawback of this build. Of actually, uh, of koalas. Logia. Anyone with Logia is extremely difficult to deal with. Even if you have insane amount of damage, basically they have full meter, they can take down your entire team by just using Logia correctly or not as recklessly. Now this guy has plus 8 attack, so supports are even better, but you see mine are enough to kill the dude out of an ultimate while he still has 70% of a health without comboing, and I think that this is more than enough. More damage is just mad. Trimple Logia. And I think none of them have hockey. Oh, except Marco. Which is really bad because my supports are also double edged, meaning that there's one support that. Choto, choto? That adds the damage to my opponent as well, and the same happens if you pick Ben Beckman, even though support itself doesn't really tell you that it does that, you can only figure it out by experience. And then he has three Logias, defeating one Logia with Koala is kinda hard for me, but three is just... You know, I wanted to take it easy, at least this video, because, you know, anime gaming is a bit on a... Uh, dull side. Not dull, but it's very quiet, except of maybe Xenoverse's DLC, but generally it's really quiet on releases, and it's been quiet for way too long. Meaning that I need something fresh, and I think the freshest thing that is going to come up is Injustice 2. That's why I'm spending most of my time preparing for that, instead of actually thinking about the next manga that is about to come out. Because, you know, Manga and, well, comics like DC or Marvel are two different entities, even though they are similar in structure of what they try to achieve. Gotta be very careful here. Wow, nice neutral jump, I didn't expect that. The sad fact is that he doesn't use any cool combos. Or well, well, Marco doesn't really have any cool combos after the patch. Most of the flashy ones don't really do any damage, so I understand why he's doing it, but still... So scrabbish. But he doesn't heal. Well, because he wants to zone me with the damn crocodile. Yeah, the good thing about Koala is the running, because she goes to the back, and you can avoid a lot of stuff getting hit, and besides... You can avoid the damn projectiles going straight at you. I don't know what you tried to do there. I get thirsty for the damage. 
I generally need to touch him once to kill him, but I can't do that because of the log yet. Yeah, I did this so I could waste the meter, because Koala would be dead anyway. Ugh. Okay. The key is patience, and the key is little damage. One hit, lots of blocking. You see, he's nervous. He knows that something is coming. The read is coming! No luck yet, dude. No luck yet, dude! It's good, dude! This is what he did. You should have never attempted the teleport. I can't believe it, but in this case, I'm actually afraid of Tashigi. <laughs> because, you know, Tashigi support, what she does is she increases how. She increases how your ability gauge recovers, the speed of it. So basically, whenever I'm gonna waste it, he's gonna get it back twice as fast as he did before. Meaning that killing Marco is virtually not impossible but very 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 hard. Unless he has shitty reflexes and I can get him into the guard break. But then again he's faster than me. I can't even trade like the cool thing about Koala is that you can always pressure people that don't have stuff like Logia. But in this case, you can't even do that. I tried to counter with the invincible ability, but yeah, with this one. But too late. What? Okay. So one down. I wasted like 30% of my health. My combo. Again, I tried to counter, but shit happens. Get very patient. Ah, uh, I don't know how that. Okay, I didn't really expect that hit to hit, so I couldn't really combo correctly. And I could have comboed properly out of this one, but reflexes. He's playing a very weird team, but that's exactly the team that is needed in order to counter my team. <laughs> it's like he knows. Ah! Okay. When the second call is almost down, and I still haven't wasted like a half of his health. I need a hit. Okay, the swimsuit one. I hope this hits. I don't know if that's actually a legit combo, but I hope this hits. Okay, at least the log is down. I take that. It's worth it. A full combo. I brought down the hardest one! Okay. No, this should be easy, technically. If I just don't do stupid things, like he did right now, because he assumes that he will be invincible and he's not. Oh, full combo! Oh my god, I'm so doing this! Oh, he healed. Okay. And you. Okay, if I didn't fail that, that would have been GG. I'm not sure if this is actually punishable, but I will try to because, you know, he's already in awakened stand. He needs done. Yeah, he doesn't need to turn back like a regular Luffy. Talking too much. Bruh. Oh, Nani? That was supposed to tank it through. Delayed wake up, let's go. 